Hi everyone, Ms. Carr here. I hope you're enjoying college and career week so far. So today is day four, so I'm going to be talking about some frequently asked questions. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to discuss some scholarships, college search, application requirements, the SSAR, and important deadlines. So first, scholarships. If you are not already on the Senior Remind text, you need to join that as soon as possible. That's seniors only. Um, so text at 2021CBHS to 81010. That's the best way that we can communicate to you about new scholarships that come in because we get them frequently throughout the year. So with that text, you would just get a link or information about the scholarship. So make sure you are on that. Some other scholarships that you will find are going to be directly through the colleges you're applying to. So most colleges will have their own um, scholarships page like UCF through their financial aid office has a UCF only scholarships. So make sure you're looking out for those as well. FAFSA. If you have not already applied through the FAFSA, you need to do that as soon as possible. That opened October 1st, so get with a parent and fill out the FAFSA. A lot of colleges can't award you their like school-based scholarships or even Bright Futures until you've done the FAFSA, so make sure that you do that. Some schools also will put a hold on your account and not let you register for classes until you've done the FAFSA. So whether you think you are eligible for that or not, you have to do it. It's very, very important. And there's also some scholarships um, that we've sent out through Remind that if you've already done the FAFSA, you're eligible for some scholarships as well. So that's just even more free money for you all. So something with the FAFSA, there's a question in there that asks, would you be eligible in a work study program? So I always recommend that people say yes to that. What a work study is, is you would be working um, on part-time on campus at your college and they would help you out with tuition a little bit as well. So it's a good idea just to say yes um, and that's based on eligibility and all of that. So some additional resources for helping you fill out the FAFSA is a great YouTube website. Her name is the FAFSA Guru. So she has been kind of in the field for a really long time and she covers um, common mistakes that are made and how to get more money through the FAFSA. So great resource. I've included the link here. So Bright Futures is a main in-state scholarship program for public institutions. So right now the requirements for the 100% tuition, which also covers a book stipend, is an ACT 29 or an SAT 1330. 100 volunteer hours, and a 3.5 weighted GPA. So if you're state, planning on staying in state, you need to be looking at the Bright Futures requirements and working towards those if you've not already met them. Um, I've also included here the link to the Bright Futures handbook. You can see the eligibility for the lower level tiers. Um, so they have like a 100%, 75, and then there's some um, vocational information in there as well. So the 100% is always subject to change as well as the test scores. Those change every few years. Um, so just wanted to let some of the underclassmen know that those might change. All right, so college search. If you have no idea what you would want to major in, great resource to start with is mycareershines.org. You make an account, it's completely free to make an account where you're gonna take three different assessments and it's gonna target your like interests and skills and all of that and match you to different careers that you'd be good at. So when I did it, it said secondary education. So I think there is some validity to that um, for sure. So make sure that you create an account there. And then once you get that list of majors, you can start exploring them and that's gonna link you to colleges that offer that major. So really, really helpful tool in starting to do college search and trying to figure out what you would be good at if you don't already know what you would want to do. Another great resource is through College Board. So they have an interactive tool to help match you to colleges. So it's going to be, um, uh, you get to rate different items that they have. How important is 
going to a two-year versus four-year university, things like that. And it's going to give you a list of colleges once you've completed those like 10 questions. So very, very great resource. So something else, that, something else that's important is going on college tours. So because of the pandemic, a lot of those are not happening right now, but a lot of them are virtual. So when you're searching for colleges, you don't want to just apply to schools that your friends are going to or that have a good football program or things like that. You want to make sure that you could actually see yourself there and enjoy your time there. So going on a tour is really important to try to get that sense of, oh, do I like this campus? Do I like the layout? Do I like all the amenities? That kind of thing. So you want to be purposeful in your search and not just go where your friends are going. Uh, but you also want to match your major to um, the colleges, so important stuff. So you can find uh, virtual college tours online. The Florida Shines website has all of the Florida colleges right there for you, so this is the link for that. Application requirements. So every school is so different in what they're looking for in an applicant. So school to school, they require very different things. Some schools still want you to send an official transcript. Some only want you to do the SSAR. It's very different. So it's very important that you know what the requirements are for each school. So a good example is UF's website. So if we just click on that. So this is the, you wanna make sure that you're on the freshman page or first time in college, even if you have taken some dual enrollment classes, you still are gonna apply to your school's first year in college. So you're gonna see all of the different applications that they do offer. They offer Coalition and Common App. Um, you can see some stats, but this is what. So application dates. So their main date is November 16th now. It has been pushed back. Um, their SSAR, though, is not due until December 1st, and then all of their test scores need to be in by December 15th. So very important for you to be searching each college, and you'll see the different deadlines, the different requirements, all of that kind of stuff. So you'll see on here, they don't require you to send an official transcript. Why is that? Um, so most colleges are moving towards the SSAR, which we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but that is, the purpose of that is instead of you having to pay to send your official transcript to many, many schools, you just do the SSAR once and you can link it to different schools. So the schools are really getting away from having the, the students pay money to send the transcript when I can just upload a transcript for you on Common App you could do the SSAR and then they'll get a final transcript once you've graduated. So that's really what they care about most. Um, so the SSAR is having you get away from having to do all those unnecessary pain of your transcripts to be sent. Let's go back here. All right. You can also view the Common App Requirements Grid. So this is going to have every college that uses a Common App and their requirements. You can see deadlines, their application fee. This is a very helpful resource as well. You could also download that and then take out only the, leave in only the schools that you are applying to. And that's going to be really helpful. Make sure you're marking your deadlines. You don't want to miss a deadline. Mark it in your phone, your planner, whatever you use. Uh, make sure that you know your deadlines. Okay, more about the SSAR. So it is a separate website. It's not Common App, it's completely separate. So you're gonna make an account there if your schools require the SSAR. Make an account there. You're gonna put in all of your courses and your grades that you've gotten. Um, so basically you're replicating your transcript. So to do the SSAR, you wanna have either your focus account or an unofficial transcript because what the SSAR is basically your transcript, you're just self-reporting that. So a lot of schools, UF, FSU, require the SSAR. A lot of the um, 
out-of-state schools as well. Um, UCF has their own version of the SSAR. It's called the SPARC. So if you were on their application uh, website, you would know that they require the SPARC. So I, if you're applying for schools that use the SSAR and SPARC, have them both up at the same time, do them at the same time. Um, other schools like USF require that you put in your transcript um, through, well, you self-report your transcript through Common App. So some schools require you to do it in that Common App section um, like USF, and then some schools require you to do the SSAR can be a little bit confusing. Um, most schools are trying to move to the SSAR, so it would be uh, more seamless for you guys, um, but they're all on different pages right now. So um, SSAR, very important that you know because colleges like UF, if it's not there on time, your application is not complete. So UF also has a great FAQ page. So I'll show you that. Um, so any kind of question that you may have about how to fill out the SSAR, how to link it to your account, all of that, how do you enter your grades, you can find that on UF's SSAR page. Very helpful resource for you guys. Go back to this. Deadlines. So it's very important that you are mindful of the deadlines that you are selecting in Common App or however you apply. There are four different types of deadlines and it's important that you know because some are binding and some are not. Um, so early decision is a binding um, application decision. So most of kind of like your IV schools may use an early decision. So if you are applying early decision, that tells that college you are already committing to go there if you get in. So if you are accepted, you've already committed to go there. So be mindful of that. Um, it's binding. It tells the school that that is your first choice. Um, a lot of schools that have an early decision, they do not allow you to apply early action or early decision for your other colleges. So let's say you apply early decision to Duke. Duke may not allow you to apply to any other school except for their regular decisions. So you have to be very mindful, look at their um, websites to make sure if you're applying early decision, you know all of the requirements that the entails. Early action is non-binding. It's just an early application. It still tells the colleges that you want to go there, but you have not already committed to going there if you've gotten in. Um, so early action, you sometimes you still do have to typically apply regular decision for all of your other colleges. Um, so just something to be aware of if you're applying early decision or early action to any of your schools, read the requirements on their page because they may say you have to apply regular, de regular decision to all of your other schools. So regular decision is just a typical window that's usually January 1st and you would still get you would get an admissions decision around March or April whereas the early decision early action you're gonna hear back much sooner than that so rolling admissions you may see UCF does rolling admissions there's not a hard deadline for those schools that use rolling admissions they have one kind of general application window um, and it's kind of first come, first serve. So the students who are applying, they're getting accepted as um, it's going. So there's not a release date of all the decisions like UF has. Um, they kind of, you just get admitted continuously through the year. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm going to post the links below in the description box. Um, I'm going to post um, on the blog so you guys can have this presentation and all of the links. If you have any questions, please let me know. Bye.